Is this video claiming to show a crocodile attacking a lawnmower for real? Or is this video just too awesomely ridiculous to be true? I've got the answer to that little piece of crocodilian craziness, plus official real or fake decisions on a whole bunch of other crazy photos and videos that you guys sent in. Like this picture claiming to show a rice paddy with custom designs featuring Naruto, the Japanese ninja. This shot claiming to show a baby seahorse complete with its own miniature cowboy hat, a picture of what looks like a spaceman photobombing a little girl, and that doesn't even include our big story this week about a mysterious photo that claims to show a gigantic snake nearly 200 feet long. This show's gonna rock you like a hurricane, so don't go away. Hey guys, Bill here. You know, tall tales about gigantic snakes have literally been around forever. But the largest snake we have actual physical evidence for is the Titanoboa, an extinct species of boa constrictor that lived 58 to 60 million years ago. This giant snake reached a length of 42 feet or 12.8 meters and probably weighed 2,500 pounds or about 1,100 kilograms. The biggest snakes alive today are the anaconda from South America and the reticulated python from Southeast Asia. The largest anaconda ever measured was almost 28 feet or about eight and a half meters long. She wasn't weighed at the time she was caught, but scientists estimate she must have weighed over 500 pounds or about 227 kilograms. Although the anaconda is the largest snake in terms of body mass, the reticulated python holds the world's record for longest snake. The longest one ever measured came in at about 33 feet or just over 10 meters. Coming face to face with a giant anaconda or reticulated python has to be one of the scariest things you could ever imagine. But what about a snake over six times that size? That is exactly what Belgian ace pilot Remy Van Leerd may have experienced when he shot this mysterious photo while helicoptering over the Congolese jungle in 1959. Colonel Van Leerd was a highly decorated World War II fighter pilot who later commanded an air base in the Belgian Congo. One day in 1959, as Van Leerd and his crew were flying a routine mission, they saw this gigantic snake emerging from a hole on the terrain below. Van Leerd circled around for a better look and had someone on his flight crew take a photograph. And I would say the snake I saw there was close to 50 foot. Very dark green, deep green brown, with his belly white. That is a huge snake by any standards. But what if somebody said that estimate was wrong, that the true size of the snake was almost 200 feet? Well, that's what this letter says right here. It's a letter written by Mr. Charles Hapgood, a history professor who had formerly served with the U.S. Center of Information during World War II. Hapgood got hold of Van Leerd's photos and sent them with a letter to Captain Lorenzo W. Burroughs, director of the National Photographic Interpretation Center, also known as the NPIC. Now, as it turns out, the NPIC was tied closely to not only the CIA, but the Department of Defense as well. So what this tells me is that was a really serious investigation that took place. And I made certainly between four and six passes right over the hole where the snake was in. This letter, along with rumors that the photo was being officially investigated, led many people to believe the idea that Colonel Van Leerd had underestimated the size of the snake. But on the other hand, I mean, how could that be? I mean, 200 feet? Seriously? I feel and I'm convinced if, it, if, it, if I had been in its range, it would have struck at me, it would have been striking me. I wasn't sure what to believe, so I combed through the letter very carefully and consulted with experts to uncover every clue we could find. And thanks to that, I now have this, the official answer. 
But before I can tell you what's going on in here, I need to know what you're thinking up there, okay? So when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake, okay? Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer down there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you're right or not. Now, the third option, and by far the most popular these days, is just to vote right up here, okay? You ready? And go. Okay, did you vote? Good, because in just a few minutes, I'm gonna be opening the old envelope right here. But first, we're gonna take a look at some other amazing photos and videos that you guys sent in. First up is this photo claiming to show a rice paddy with different colored plants, creating the image of the popular Japanese anime character, Naruto. It was sent in by Og Azra, who simply asked, is this real? Well, I'm a big Naruto fan myself, so I was very curious to find out what's going on here. And guess what? It's real. Facebook readers Cap Raff and Noel Kronbach were the first to come up with the answers. Cap Raff pointed out that by planting different colored varieties of rice, the farmers can create visual patterns in their fields. And Noel Kronbach sent in these photos to show the progression of how the different varieties of rice grew to make the pattern. Good job, guys. Maybe you'll both become official Hokage one of these days. Next, we have this picture sent in by Champ Roblox player who asked, this is Photoshop, right? Well, Champ Roblox player, you may be a champ at playing Roblox, but as a real or fake photo spotter, you might need a little more training. This picture is real. Although this adorable little guy looks like an undersea version of My Little Pony character, or maybe an aquatic version of those Bolivian ladies with the hats, it's actually, and are you ready for this? A pygmy seahorse. I didn't even know they had such a thing. These tiny little ocean dwellers measure less than two centimeters or about three-fourths of an inch long. Because their amazing camouflage makes them look almost exactly like the coral they live among, they were discovered by scientists only very recently. Next up is this puzzling image sent in by Asher Lee Titus that looks like an alien spaceman photobombing a little girl out picking daisies. Also known as the Solway Firth Spaceman photo, this mysterious picture is nothing more than a big fat fake. The picture was taken by photographer Jim Templeton in 1964. Templeton claimed a figure wearing a white spacesuit mysteriously appeared in the photo when he developed it and insisted he didn't see anyone present when the photo was taken. But Templeton was busted by UFO researcher David Clark, who discovered there was someone else there that day, and it was Templeton's wife. Most people now agree that that is Mrs. Templeton behind the girl. Okay, so what do you say we get back to our big story this week about that gigantic snake? Here with the official announcement is one of our judges from the Creative Discovery Museum in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Here it is, Bill. The final decision. The photo claiming to show a gigantic snake, which some have claimed was 195 feet in length, has been carefully examined and researched by a wide variety of biologists, forensic photography experts, and herpetologists. And based on all of the information collected, we have reached a decision. And the decision is 100%, without a doubt, and beyond any question, unknown. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that. An unknown. We don't get too many of those around here, but I guess it just goes to show you there are some things in this world we just do not have answers for. But hey, if you're thinking about clicking away, I wouldn't do that because I'm still going to give you the answer to that crazy crocodile munching on the lawnmower. Remember that one? And we've got some exclusive information we uncovered regarding that photo. Listen to this. First off, we don't suspect Colonel Van Leerd would be the kind of guy to create a hoax. But guess what? Van Leerd had nothing to do with that letter. It was written by Mr. Charles Hapgood, who, upon further investigation, turned out to be a bit of a fruitcake known for his preposterous theories. Add to this the fact that the guy he sent the letter to, Captain Burroughs from the MPIC, never even replied. If Burroughs thought it was a legitimate claim, don't you think he would at least write back for some more information? The bottom line is this. 
Despite all the evidence that was passed around, we don't actually know what we're looking at here. It could be a photo of a giant snake taken from 500 feet, but then again, it could be a hoax taken from 12 inches. Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video. I'm gonna be giving you the answer to that giant crocodile in just a second, but first I wanna send out a big thanks to all you people for sending on all those wonderful pictures and videos you send in. Also wanna send a special thanks to all you people who helped me find answers. And hey, don't forget, if you got a picture or video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because robots are gonna shred them and start screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. Now, about that video of the crocodile allegedly attacking a lawnmower. It was shown as real on BBC and a host of other news outlets, but this video is seriously fake. If the news agencies would have looked closer, they would have noticed the mower was not running when the croc grabbed it. If it was running, it would have created a lot of water splash. Despite this, someone has added the sound of a running lawnmower to the soundtrack. The whole thing was staged, and it's a big, fat publicity stunt.